That's right. Let's do it. We're going to go surprise Mr. Jones, who is our January Teacher of the Month here from Coyle High School. Let's go in. So the principal's here. He's going to open the door. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Hi. Maggie Carla with KOCO. You're our January Teacher of the Month. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, sorry to surprise you so abruptly on this Monday morning. Um, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm shocked. I was just thinking about triangles and rectangles. <laughs> First of all, we have to, Mr. Jones, just to have our photographer take a look around your classroom. This classroom doesn't look like any classroom I've ever been in. The walls are painted with a special paint so you can draw on the walls. The students can draw on the table. You've got all kinds of things in this classroom. Can you just talk a little bit about how you have retrofitted this classroom? Well, when I, I first came in in August last year and all the, all the walls were white and there was bookshelves with old textbooks, and I thought we need to do something totally different. So I thought it would be really cool if we could have like the walls where we could write on all of them, and then I thought the tables, if we had dry erase tables, so instead of having to do your math on pencil and paper, we could just write on all the tables and almost, you know, just so it's, the whole classroom is kind of interactive. You know, the nomination that we received for you was that this was a school that had had a lot of turnover in teachers and particularly in math and that some hope was lost. Some hope was lost about trying to spark interest in math in the students. And here you come in, and even this is a small school, you still are treating this like uh, the most special of places and that it, you know, how do you just come in with just this like, hey, this is a small school, but I've got a big idea. Well, I spent eight years, so I always lived in Stillwater and Coyle's been close and I actually did my student teaching here. And then I spent eight years at a similar size school on the opposite side of the state. And when I got the opportunity to come closer to the home, I had bought like eight years of thoughts and ideas and uh, I, like I revolutionized a classroom on the other side of the state, and I was like, well, I can't, I can't just leave all those ideas there. I had to come in here, and I had to, I had to one up it. So I thought, what can I do to make this classroom even more engaging and exciting? And so I just thought every every idea, and most, you know, some some of the best ideas you steal from one teacher, and then you add your own flavor to it, and you just you just build it from there. And you've got games too that kids can take part in. Is that kind of like a reward? Uh, kind of the whole class experience is we kind of modified it to be like a game. We're like, everybody in here is, they've all created their own character. As they learn math, they earn XP. As they do bad things or get a bad grade, they lose some health. And throughout the year, they kind of work in teams. So it kind of works as an extra motivating factor. Where do you get your motivation from? Just anywhere, other teachers, things that things that I would enjoy when it comes to, I mean, I love playing games, so I, I think, I, I remember one day playing on my phone, and I was playing a video game, and I was, I was doing just random activities on the game, and I was like, these activities are no fun, so I was like, but why am I doing them? And I was like, oh, because well, I'm motivated to get these points and get this XP, and I thought, well, what if we could use that to help motivate our students? It's so cool. It's so cool. Who wants to, who has a, something to say about this teacher here? I know one of you does. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> come here to me. I'm, I would come to you, but can you come to me? Because we're, we're tethered by this cord here. I would come to you. Just come talk real quickly. Uh, Gabby, don't cry. What's your, what's, <laughs> what's your name? Cry. Gabby, lively. Yeah, and what do you think of Mr. Jones? He's, I mean, his class is amazing. It's fun, interactive. I have had a lot of fun in here. I think everyone else has, right? Yeah, right. you guys, I mean, this is something like we've never seen. Principal, come up here. I mean, to have a teacher that just takes this much love and interest and care into a classroom, what does it mean to you here at Coyle High School? Well, honestly, that uh, I can learn math now because I like coming into his classroom because it's so exciting, even for me as an adult. So, But to see all the students engaged, uh, that they're all in, engaged in, in what they're doing and, the, and they're having fun. It's just a wonderful thing to see. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Quail Creek Bank, one of the honors of being Teacher of the Month is that you get $1,000 from Quail Creek Bank to go on to donorschoose.org and then find a project and find things that you want for your classroom. So there you go, Christopher Jones, our January Teacher of the Month. We are so glad to know you. 
<laughs> and also, I have to mention, the principal showed me, there was a picture of you, and you were wearing like a costume. So like, how does that work that you like will do something goofy if the kids, what are they, like win a bet or something? Did he get that picture on his phone or something? Did he, did he sneak in here? Well, it, it's part of the game. We kind of have random events, and they're like each kid has their own character, and some of them are mages and wizards, and it'll just pop up, and one of them can turn the teacher into a pickle, or turn the teacher into a banana or a chicken. It just kind of... It happens, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't from one class to the other. So I'll teach a whole lesson on geometry in a banana costume sometimes. And I, it's because some student decided to take a magic wand and, and turn the teacher into a banana that day. Well, we are so impressed with you. And uh, yeah, this picture is something to see. Uh, Mr. Jones, thank you. Yeah, he's got, it on his, <laughs> he's got it on his phone. Well, guys, uh, how about it? Is this not the coolest thing ever? Jason and Zach, uh, we'll send it back to you from Coyle High School with Mr. Jones. All right, Maggie, thank you very much. We all wanted teachers like that growing up. He's so innovative. I was just going to say, man, if my math teachers were like that, who knows, I'm going to take it a different career path. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be in journalism. It would definitely be in math. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, good job, Maggie. Thanks for bringing that to us. All right, and as always, we are already looking for our next Teacher of the Month. Head over to KOCO5 and nominate a teacher for our February Teacher of the Month.